Hello and welcome to another look at your feedback on the ABC. One of the times it's really good to own a television is when you're watching a new drama series and you realise it's got you in, you're hooked. And it sounds like quite a few viewers have already surrendered themselves to the Australian-made drama MDA. A really good patient is someone who tells them where it hurts, shuts up and lets them fix it. Congratulations, Channel 2. I think you're on a winner there. Who's next? Oh, yeah, yeah. Girl, 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 excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Ramsey, girl, girl, let go. Girl, that wasn't girl, very girl, nice, now was it? Girl, girl. We uh, haven't had a drama like this for years. Fantastic. If you think we're just going to roll over and hand you a cheque so you can ruin the reputation of a hard-working doctor, you've got another thing coming. We're not going to settle out of court. Fantastically packaged, I and I hope it continues opinion. for a really long time. Good on you. Mm. I wondered why you two hadn't been for your daily tiptoe through the tulip. She whipped you on the squash court, didn't she? For those yet to be initiated, MDA or Medical Defence Australia is set in the increasingly litigious battleground between the medical and legal professions. And it's the note of authenticity that has many viewers setting their clocks for 9.30 Tuesday nights. As a lawyer practising in personal injury litigation, including medical negligence, I've found the program to be both amusing and true to life. According to your records, Gary Larkin was booked in to have a post-operative hernia repaired on May... And he never bloody showed. That afternoon I got the writ instead. Why are you here, Caitlin? We have watched every episode of MDA and find it to be an interesting and thought-provoking program, and the stories and subplots only too relevant. But MDA isn't just appealing to industry insiders. When you assemble such a fine cast of Australian actors, plenty of other people will be tuning in as well. Not to mention all the Kerry Armstrong fans who have been missing her TV presence since the end of Sea Change. Dr Mordson, my job is not to judge you, but in order to defend our doctors, we need to know the whole story. Yes, I understand that. I liked your Heather Jelly and loved your acting in Lantana. I am so pleased that you've decided to stay on the little screen in Australia. Continued good fortune to you. Another test game of ours. King to King's Night One. Left yourself wide open. And you fell for it. <laughs> from a shiny new Australian drama to a classic drama from the 1960s remade. The Foresight Saga is Granada Television's updated dramatisation of the John Galsworthy novel and it's been a ratings winner for the ABC. A show at the moment I'm particularly enjoying is The Foresight Saga on a Sunday night. But as we've said before, ABC viewers take their television seriously. And this next caller to the feedback comments line wanted to discuss what she thought was a spelling mistake. Please spell the Forsyth saga correctly. I find it hard to believe that somebody as intelligent or supposedly intelligent as ABC television can't get the correct name and correct spelling of the Foresight Saga, Foresight Saga. Well, we've checked both the spelling and the pronunciation. The characters pronounce their name as Foresight. John Galsworthy's novel is spelled Foresight, with a T. So it does appear to be Foresight, not Forsyth. So if you want to have your say about what's happening on the ABC, whether it's television, radio or online, then get in touch with feedback. You can pick up the phone, you can send off an email or you can write us a letter. As always, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. I'll see you again next time for more feedback. Bye for now.